is this is not complicated it's easy and you can do it and you're going to get this kind of cool puffy result here which i love this we're using my pattern the zipper wristlet pattern that you can access for free if you're signed up to my emails if you're not signed up yet go to sohungryhippie.com and you can go to the faqs page or on the main page i have a sign up here for emails i send them out every sunday the pattern is in there the only thing we're changing is i just opted not to add the wrist strap or the d-ring because i use this i throw these kind of things in my purse and it keeps my my bits organized if you will okay so first of all here's my deep space now i chose a scrap piece there's probably imperfections on here because that's what i have to use so in, in the shop at SoHungryHippie.com, I do have some ready to go kits and I've cut this for you already. You need two pieces of the deep space soft vinyl and you need two pieces of foam interfacing. And I just lay it down like this. I like my foam to be bigger than my fabric, okay? Or the vinyl, whatever you wanna call it. This, is, this vinyl is like fabric. So if I say fabric, you know what I mean. Then you're gonna take your acrylic ruler and a Hera marker. You can also use a paintbrush or a turning tool or a pen without the ink part jabbed out, anything that can make a mark. And you are simply gonna put your ruler down and glide this along the vinyl. See that? It just makes a perfect mark. And then you're gonna measure another inch over and you're gonna glide it again. Now, if you're paranoid about the marks going away, don't be, because I did this all the way across and then took it at one time to my machine and they were there perfectly. But you can also just mark half and, and then sew half, it doesn't matter. Do your thing. So here we are, here's the vinyl I just marked. Now, I am using Guterman all-purpose thread in white. You guys, you know I use this 99% of the time. I, I just, I am not fancy. I tend to stick to a product that I know works. You want an all-purpose thread, polyester blend, when you're sewing vinyl. It's just stronger. Now, I, I will start in the middle. I'm not even touching it. See that? I just let it do its thing. I do like to go in one direction. So what I mean is uh, I just keep sewing in the same direction here. Let me bring that. I think you can see that. As you can see, it's no problem at all. And the more lines you sew, the puffier, that puffy effect becomes more pronounced. I'm using soft and stable, non-fusible. I don't like the fusible foam interfacing. For me, it just tends to wrinkle. So remember, the key tips are a polyester blend thread, size three millimeter stitch length. Here, I'm not using a Teflon foot, but if you are stuck when you're sewing, try a Teflon foot. I'm using Biani soft and stable foam. I don't recommend fusible foam. And other than, than that, just experiment and have fun. Remember this vinyl is in my shop and full kits are also in my shop at SoHungryHippie.com.